It looks pretty like chicken, to be honest. Can you see? How nice is that? Literally, wow. Hello everybody and happy 2020. Welcome back. Oh my god, I'm literally so rusty. I can't even talk. Um, it feels like a long time since I vlogged, hence the rustiness, but I'm back. First video of 2020, vlog, video, whatever we're gonna call it. Um, I hope everyone's well, I hope everyone had a good Christmas, and I hope everyone's back to normal. Like, I'm so happy to be back to normal, I'm not gonna lie. I had a great Christmas with all my family and stuff, but honestly, I was like craving some routine again, and also like to get back to healthy eating, and to the gym, which by the way, I've been every single day of 2020 so far. It might only be the 5th of January, but... It's still good going for me. Also, I'm glad to be back to black nails. If you follow me on Insta, you know I had red nails over the Christif Wow. Over the Christmas festivities. And yeah, it just didn't feel like me. So I'm glad to be back like this. By the way, look how pale my hand is. Girl needs a holiday. Anyway, I am just spontaneously vlogging today, which to be honest, most of my vlogs are like that. But the other day I actually asked you all on Instagram story what you want to see more of on YouTube and like so many of the answers where you want to see more vlogs. Even if I think they're boring, you still want to see them apparently. So today I'm just spending the day on my own, which is standard prayer. Um, I'm nipping to the shops, I've got a few jobs to do, but I just basically want to catch up with you guys and just check in. A lot of you asked what my goals are of 2020, what my plans are. So I just thought this would be a really good video to do that in, get back in the swing of things and just say hi to you guys and start 2020 as I mean to go on, which is lots of videos, lots of vlogs and lots of YouTube, hopefully. I have to show you all before I go out, look how cute Chris looks. He's taken up, like sitting in a certain place on the sofa on this blanket and he looks so cute. I mean, this looks like the comfiest little bed ever. Christopher, do you wanna say hello? Oh, look at his little paw going. I know some people really aren't fond of cats. I mean, I never really used to be until we got this cat. And now I love him so much. <laughs> Speaking of cats, though, it actually just reminded me of any of you um, seen that Netflix documentary. It's called something like Don't Fuck With Cats. Well, it is so weird. Like, I can't even explain to you how weird it is, but it's actually such a good watch, like fully recommend it. It's not too long, you know sometimes Netflix things can like drag on a bit. It doesn't actually drag too much, but it's mental. So if you're a Netflix geek like me, definitely watch that. Love it, Drake. Um, it's just actually reminded me, let me turn this off because I was gonna distract us all. It's just reminded me that the last time I feel like I was in this car park, I think anyway, it was during a vlog at Christmas time and I was talking to you all about the fact that I just test driven. No, I hadn't test driven a car. I'd gone to look at cars and I was going to test drive cars. If you've watched that vlog, you know what I'm talking about. But a lot of you have asked since, am I gonna get the car? Did I test drive it? Blah, 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 blah. And the answer to that is no, I didn't test drive it and no, I didn't get the car. Because basically, I am hopefully moving to London. So I know if a lot of you have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know I've been toying with this idea for a long time, but I feel like I finally made the decision that I am going to go and I'm going to do it. And I'm so excited about the prospect of it. And I just feel like for me, it's time in my life to make the plunge and go and live in the big city for a while. I feel like I live there anyway. Like I'm there so often, I'm there tomorrow. I'm there the day after, I'm there on Friday. Like I'm there, I'm there like three times a week anyway. I may as well live there. I've always spoken about what stopped me in the past. Living there is obviously spending a lot of money on rent, which is not great. But before I go, the reason I can't go until, by the way, I'm not going to go until the end of February, possibly the beginning of March, but I've got some time that I need to like make some investments and stuff before I go. Just try and be a little bit sensible, a little bit adult before I then go and spend a ridiculous amount of money on rent for possibly the next year. That's another thing. I'm saying I'm only going to go for a year, see how I go. And yeah, but I just feel like it's time just to go and have some fun. Anyway, so that is the answer to that, which I'm super excited about. Obviously, I'm going to be vlogging everything as I go along. So you're going to see my move and stuff. Oh my God. Literally, the thought of it has made me the most excited I've ever been about anything in years. Like, I feel as excited as I used to feel about Christmas when I was a kid. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of you did actually ask what car it was I was going to get, and I was going to get a new Range Rover Velar, which I would still love one of those, but it's just completely pointless me getting one when I move into London, because I'm probably going to drive half the amount that I do now, and to be honest, I don't even drive much now, and it would also be like a big financial tie 
um, which I don't need when I'm paying rent and etc. All the things that go with living in London. So yeah, that's the answer to that. Um, but yeah, by the way, this is my Balenciaga scarf. I showed you in a different vlog. I love it so much. It keeps me so warm, but I can't lie. It makes me every single time I put it on. I think as the feel of it, it reminds me of a football scarf. <laughs> you know, like it's this kind of like stretchy wool material. I have to, you know, it was a lot more expensive than a football scarf, but I've got a hair in my mouth. But yeah, just a little heads up on that. If anyone's thinking of getting it, I literally feel like a football fan. <laughs> Anyway, I'm in town now and I'm gonna go and head to the shops. By the way, the roads on the way here were so quiet, like ghostly quiet. It felt so, oh shit, AirPods, I swear to God guys, you drop them and lose them, well I do anyway, every single time. Anyway, I found it. I'm just gonna pop my AirPods in so no one talks to me. You know the drill, guys. These are the best things ever. Half the time I don't even play music, I just put them in so no one likes to communicate with me. <laughs> Well, I've ended up in Zara, even though I said I wasn't going to, because I absolutely hate the Zara sale, but I think I found a few good bits. Can we just listen to the music? Christmas music, 6th of January, it's an O. Okay, first up, I look like a green caterpillar, and I'm loving it. I think it's so cool, it's really light. It looks like it's going to be so heavy, but it's so light. I feel like it's going to be super warm, so I'm talking a bit loud, because I've got my AirPods in. I bet everyone in here can hear me, although it feels like there's only like one other person in the change room anyway. But, yeah, how cool is this? I love it. I feel like a lot of you are going to be thinking, Freya, this is massive on you. Well, which is true it is, but I think it's sick. And it would look nice with the right outfit. I mean, it looks all right with what I've got on now, to be honest. But I feel like I could style it better. And I think it's £50 reduced from 90 something like that. So, not really a bargain, because it's still pretty expensive. But for a big coat like this, I think it's pretty good. Next thing, I picked up this bomber jacket, which I thought I was going to love. Do I like it? I feel like I don't like it. It's basically, it's like bat wing, can you see there? But when your arm's down, it just makes you look like a big puff ball. I can't even explain. I thought I was gonna love it, because I've been after an oversized like bomber jacket, exactly like this for ages, but I don't want it to be bat wing. I want it to be like, the arms be normal, and then like the bottom be baggy. And also, it doesn't come down very far. I want one that like covers my bum, and it's just like really big and oversized like with a hoodie and this isn't really what I'm after which is a bit of a shame really because it's one of those ones that's made out of recycled plastic bottles which I'm always here for because it's helping the environment it's also in the sale and it's down to 29.99 but I'm not taking it I don't really like it and the last thing I picked up was this like oversized knitted grey hoodie which I love it's not in the sale though let me quickly check the price of it 25.99 very affordable actually it feels really expensive it actually comes with matching trousers which I'm not going to buy because I don't really like them that much I think they just look good sorry I think it just looks good with these leather joggers I think this would look really good with like an oversized denim jacket and actually this whole look with an oversized denim jacket I think would be quite cool mm. and it's also really warm and soft and yeah it's definitely worth the 25.99 price tag so i'm only gonna get this and i'm gonna get the caterpillar coat the black thing i'm gonna leave that well i'm now in h&m and it is really let me down i'm not gonna lie i tried on this jumper it is horrible to say the least i'm gonna quickly do an outfit of the day whilst we're here though because the mirror here is always so good so i've got my balenciaga scarf on as you already know i've just got a basic topshop t-shirt on underneath i've then got some zara faux leather joggers i've got my air force on with some socks which are also nike from asos i believe and i've also got my celine bag let me step back let me move this curtain so you can see my full wow this is a real struggle why is this so hard so you can see my full outfit. It doesn't look very good like this. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of shit, but I actually really like it in real life. Well, I'm back in the car. I can't remember where I left you, you know, but I've just been to Marks and Spencer's to go and pick up a load of vegan meals. I'm not vegan. We all know I'm not vegan, but they are so good for just having in the fridge and then chucking in the microwave. And so I was drinking my water because by the way, that's another goal of mine more water in 2020 to be fair i'm so good at drinking water anyway i usually drink like two liters a day but i'm just gonna make sure i'm always drinking two liters a day and obviously i know it's not good having loads of plastic bottles but whenever i get one of these bottles from mark spencer's because it's a liter i make sure like i fill it up well, obviously twice a day sometimes three times a day if i'm being really good and i'm at home and then you know how much water you've drank 
obviously you can get good bottles online as well but i'm just saying that's what i do when i buy these plastic ones before anyone comes at me about the plastic police because i know it's bad but i was thirsty and i was out anyway i am starving so i've decided i'm gonna try and go to kfc one of my new year's resolutions is to be healthier with what i eat granted kfc is definitely not healthy but i've heard on social media like i hear about everything on social media that kfc are doing by the way, I'm eating my watermelon sticks. Um, that KFC are doing a new vegan burger. And to be honest, I hate KFC because once when I was younger, this is a true story, I ate a piece of chicken out of a bargain bucket, which by the way, I don't even know I did because I hate bones on chicken or anything. That's why I literally think I could be, I couldn't be vegan, but I could easily be vegetarian because sometimes meat makes me feel sick. Anyway, going off subject. Um, yeah, I found a feather on a piece of chicken in a bargain bag. I mean, the good thing you can say is obviously the chicken is real. The next thing I just thought just put me off for life and I was literally like 12 at the time. So yeah. But anyway, I heard that they're doing a really good vegan burger. So I'm gonna go to KFC. I'm gonna go and try it out. And like I say, I'm not vegan. It's probably really not healthy, but I'm starving hungry. And I'm thinking, why not? I'll do a little like trial for you on here. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but my local KFC, had the vegan burger can you see it says zero chicken on the top of it the reason i'm so shocked at that is because i live in such a dead area that i was half thinking that they wouldn't have the vegan burger here because like what would be the point but they have it and oh my god it smells unreal it smells exactly like a chicken mayo from mcdonald's so on first impressions it looks a little bit dry not gonna lie let me get a bit closer to the camera so you can see i mean can you see that actually i don't know it looks pretty like chicken to be honest can you see um yeah i mean i'm gonna quickly open it up before i put my i mean oh god this bit now that looks dry as hell very 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 dry lots of mayo on the other side though but i'm guessing the mayo is obviously not going to be like real mayo is it because it's obviously vegan we're all vegan now it's january um let's give this a try so there's probably people next to me wondering what i'm doing but anyway okay so here we go I feel like there's a lot of bread, okay? So hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so hot. Well, after I've got over the initial of the fact that I've just burnt my mouth to shreds, it's actually really nice. It tastes a lot like, I don't know if any of you have ever tried the corn, um, like steaks. Do you know what I'm on about? The corn, like the, you know, the make corn, but it's like fake meat tastes a lot like that like it's a bit of like a peppery taste to it i guess though isn't kfc chicken quite peppery hmm do you know what it's actually really quite good for me too much bread i feel like i might peel some of the bread off because i'm not really much for bread lover well i am that's a lie i do love bread but only certain types of bread and this kind of like cheap burger bread isn't really for me but do you know what this is so good. How many calories is in it? Let me quickly check. Will it say on here how many calories there is? It should do, right? Mm, no, nothing about calories. Let's look it up online. Okay, it took me so long to find out online how many calories was in that thing. I've actually managed to eat the entire burger whilst I was looking. But what I found, I've had to download a menu and everything. Like, I've been really thorough about this. So I wanted to know myself how many calories is in it. So this is here the vegan a la carte burger. I'm guessing that's what it was. Would you say that's very a la carte, what I've just eaten? I'm not sure. It says here it's 450 calories. I mean, not great. But overall, for like a hot sandwich that tasted really good, that's actually not bad. Let me quickly compare it to like a normal chicken burger. So that in comparison to like a fillet tower burger. So fillet tower is 620 calories and this was 450. So I think that's pretty good actually. That's actually quite a bit of a difference. And I definitely feel like I've eaten something that I shouldn't have eaten. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of gives you that sort of unhealthy kick that you kind of need when you're trying to not be unhealthy. Does that make sense? And overall, like I'm so impressed. My only down thing to the situation, I wish I got two. I also didn't get a meal, so I didn't get any chips or anything, and I'm still kind of hungry. But I'm very impressed with that KFC. I would literally give that as far as vegan food goes. And, and trust me, I have tried some vegan food that is disgusting. Um, I would genuinely give this like a strong like 9 out of 10. 
Guys, do you know what? I've just got in and I honestly had forgotten I was vlogging. I spent so long in the car at KFC after eating that burger. I do that all the time, by the way. I just sit in my car, which I know is really not very safe. Anyway, it's now quarter past six. I swear to God, the lighting in this kitchen is horrific. Like, it's so bad. There's a really bright down lighters and they're doing nothing for me. But I'm so tempted to go to the gym. The gym shuts at eight o'clock. So I've got a good hour when I get there. I'm going to go because... That means I've gone every single day of January so far and I want to keep it up and I feel like I'm in a good mood and I feel like the KFC vegan burger is giving me some energy so why not let's go to the gym. Right I am off to the gym it took me so long to find all my stuff by the way look how long and horrible my hair is literally it's like a limp biscuit I want it cut to like here because it's just got too long but anyway I've got all Gymshark on I wear Gymshark every single day no joke i absolutely love it so i've got the seamless leggings on just because they're so comfy i've got some nike trainers on and then this jacket so i'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs terrible i don't know what they call this jacket but i really like it, it kind of like comes in at the waist here and you can kind of like make it tighter which i really like i just think gymshark stuff fits so nice the quality is always unreal the only thing i don't like about this jacket it hasn't got any pockets and that really annoys me but other than that i love their stuff i'm not going to take you to the gym with me only because a lot of people don't like you filming in the gym and i'm probably going to get told off if i do do that so i will see you when i get home good morning everybody it's a few days after i think since the last time we spoke i am actually on the way to my hairdressers can you hence the hair that's going on with me today? Um, I'm so late, as always, but it wasn't my fault. There was a crash, which I hope everyone was okay. Um, but it's made me really late. All right, guys, I'm in the hairdresser. So I go to the chair in Canterbury and Chantel does my hair here. Um, but this is my hair right now. Look how long it's got. And it's so ratty right now. Like, it really, really, really needs a good cut. But this is my before. Hello, everyone. I'm back from getting my hair done. Look how nice it looks if I don't or do say so. I mean, I do say so myself. I'm so happy with it. She always does like the best job. It's really like amazingly blended and I mean, I look awful though. I swear, whenever you leave the hairdressers, you always look a state what I do. And look, I've had quite a lot cut off the length. Oh my God, it feels so short. But it really, really, really needed a good trim. So that's what she's done for me. She's amazing. I anyway, I'm so hungry. It's, I don't even know what the time is. Oh, it's nearly three o'clock. I'm starved. I've just put in the oven one of those Marks and Spencer's meals, which by the way, I was such an idiot about when I bought them because I didn't check the sell by date on them. So nearly all of them went out of date like two days after I purchased them, which is all right, pain in the neck. Um, but I've just gone for this one. So it's the um, coconut dal with roasted tofu. So I have to let you know what it's like. Yesterday I had... It was a sweet potato one and it was unreal. Like it was literally so nice. Anyway, whilst that's cooking, we've got two minutes. I've just had a delivery through from a company called Sundar Bay. And the reason I'm gonna show you is because I'm excited about this and I feel like you're all gonna love it. Okay, I've just propped you up on something. I don't know if this is gonna work. Is it gonna work? Yeah, I think we're good. Um, right, bless my neighbor. Literally, I have the cutest neighbors in the world. They've been our neighbors for like, 25 years <laughs> um but they actually got sent this parcel instead of me for some weird reason it was sent to their house so he's just been round to drop it round and he was like what's in there today freya and i was like well if you watch my youtube video you're gonna see <laughs> so it's from a brand called sundar bay like i said oh my goodness i actually gonna try and hold this up and show you by the way so about the mess in the background as always in our house so this is the inside I'm gonna open the tissue paper and oh my god guys can't even cope so this is due to the nature of this piece irregularity should be considered as characteristic and not imperfections that's a bit like me okay so can you see oh, I'm doing a really bad job here you can't even see it can you okay let me show you like this obviously it's covered in bubble wrap oh my god guys wow wow <laughs> my nan at this point I know she'll be watching this YouTube video. She will be thinking, oh my goodness. Look at this denim jacket. Can't even cope. Oh, it's all beaded and look at that. Can you see all the beading on it? Oh, I'm obsessed with it. It's so, so sick. 
wow literally in love with it i got it in a large size because obviously i want to wear it like oversized but i just think it will look so cool with a um a grey hoodie underneath it which how i'm going to style it but look at all the beading on it it's all i think it's all like hand stitched but how nice is that literally wow by the way everything this brand does is sick just fyi like they do so much stuff my friend charlotte has an amazing collection with them i think she's on like her maybe third or fourth collection and it bangs literally bangs anyway i've actually just cooked my food do you want to see it i've been really slaving away all day cooking this vegan dinner right here so here it is guys delia smith eat your heart out i mean we won't tell everyone that it just came out of a packet well just before i eat my food i think i just want to quickly wrap this vlog up i look i mean i've got no makeup on my head right now anyway um but yeah a lot of you have actually said to me on social media that you wanted me to do like a what i got for christmas and stuff like that obviously this is my first video back from Christmas and New Year and everything else. Is my camera lens dirty? No, I think it's my screen. Anyway, um, but the reason I haven't done that in this video is because to be quite honest with you, I didn't really get much for Christmas this year. All my family came down and we decided not to do presents. So I got a little bit of money and that was about it. So I have nothing to show you all. Um, in my next video, I think I'm gonna buy myself a Christmas present though, which is super exciting. It's obviously gonna be a late Christmas present because we're currently like way into January. Well, kind of into January. Um, so if you want to see what I get myself for Christmas, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and so you can see my next vlog. But anyway, I'm about to eat my delicious tofu dal from Marks and Spencers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm so excited for 2020 and just to like smash out loads of videos and do what I love, which is making YouTube videos and talking shit about my life to you all. Thank you so much to all of you that already subscribed. Thank you to all of you that gave me support in 2019 and hopefully it continues in 2020. Love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.